everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it's my favorite week of the year. We're on grand final week. So let's go ahead and get into this decoration. Okay, so we now know who's playing in the grand final. This is seriously the latest I've ever filmed a video ever that's going up today. So apologies for it being slightly late. Um, I'm also going to apologize in advance. The builders next door are doing stuff to our fence. Uh, so if I hear banging, I'm going to try and stop talking, but if you hear a couple of bangs along the way, just ignore it. Uh, so I'm going to start off with taking all the stickers off because I do have a bunch here. So I'm just going to use my undo to get rid of all of those. Very different grand final yes it's it's normal in that we've got two teams and I could do the team colors but it's so different that I thought I'd do something you know really different so what I'm gonna do is I'm kind of gonna try and not recreate I have this picture and I have it for a reason and it's because I can't draw stands I just that ain't me can't do it and this is technically a cricket match so it's it's even stupider but I'm gonna cut the stand out I've got this twice so I'm gonna cut the stand out and probably this building because that's very iconic to the Gabba and stick that down sort of along the middle and then I'm going to ink the sunset and the grass. I don't know if this is going to work. It could fail miserably but I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to start off with trimming all the white edges off this and I've just realised I can't use this trimmer the whole time but we'll use it for now. Actually, no, we'll use the right trimmer because then it's the right trimmer. So I'm just going to trim off all the white bits and then I can kind of work out where I need to cut my middle bit. I'm also not sure how this will sit on the page, like once we've actually spread it across the two, if it will work. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a double up or a little bit of an edge one side, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. I need so just using my scissors and I'm just like this is obviously the easy edge I, I could technically cut that in a straight line but I'm going to use my scissors and just cut along the bottom of the stand the good thing is you won't notice the cricket players once this is sort of all going and I'm going to cut the lights off but I'm going to go around that building other side because I need to cut the other one first anyway and that way I don't need to cut around two of them if I only need one. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other side. and I want them to sort of sit, I kind of think I'll have them a bit lower, so I have them sit there. I'm just going to grab a little bit of washi just to hold this still. So I just want to see what it's going to look like from side to side. I'm happy to admit that I'm actually very nervous that I'm going to hate this, but I just, I want to try because if we've learned anything this year, it's that sometimes you can do crazy things. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because the, it'll look wide, wide screen because I'm missing that much. Okay, so that's not quite gonna do what I want it to do. So what I'm thinking is I might have to put something down the edge in the colors of the teams to kind of help me out. So I'm gonna work out sort of the, the point that, how, how much I'm missing, I guess. Sorry, I didn't need to take that off. I just was kind of spitballing while I was doing stuff. 
So I'm just going to work out where exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some washi tape down the side. So I'm going to put some yellow and black down one side and some grey and blue down the other. The unfortunate thing is three of these match and one of them doesn't, so I'll just have to deal with that. So I'm going to white out all of my, my months and days and stuff because they're all going to get covered. I don't quite know how they're going to work with the ink, but we'll give that a shot. I really should try less ambitious things when we've got time constraints, but anyway. they're white I, I know that they're blue and white but I don't have white washi tape so we'll just go with what we've got sitting problem. Stick that there and cut. It'll be close and if I need to fix it I'll just put a little bit more washi tape on it. We'll work it out. Alright, so I'm going to stick, I think I'll put it just sort of in the middle here so that there's not too much green and it's more we're sort of focusing on the sunset. So all I'm going to do is just mark very lightly with pencil where I want this to sit or where I need to ink to I guess is what I'm working at. Then I have a bunch of colours here so this is going to take a while so I'm going to speed through the whole thing but I have a bunch of colours so I've got fossilised amber, spice marmalade, carved pumpkin, one of those might come out, crackling campfire, dusty concord, chip sapphire and black soot. Yes that's a lot of a lot of ink colours. So I'm going to start at the bottom so start down here with the yellow and then just work up to the top. I don't know how the ink's going to go on top of the whiteout, but we're going to give that a give it a fair shot and see what happens. So I start off with the yellow with the fossilized amber. And if anyone's ever been to the Gabba, you know that the Gabba has the absolute most beautiful sunsets ever, which is why I wanted to do this. And now I'm scared that the washi tape's going to get all covered in ink. This is now twofold. This is to protect the washi tape, which I should have put down afterwards. Yeah, I know I'm having a bit of a blonde. Um, but also to hold it still while I'm inking.
right, so there's the, the sort of sunset I'm going for. It's probably a little a little brighter than a gather sunset. I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit, but oh well. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I think it'll it 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 doesn't look weird, it just looks a bit different. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side and I'll be right back. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit and then we'll work on the next section. So during all of that, the only thing I did was I dropped out carved pumpkin because I just didn't need the extra colour. So I've only got one orange in there, not two. Okay, so I'm just making sure that's all clean. There's our sunset. I actually think that's come together really nicely. It, it fits, if you have a look at the colours from here it's it's picked up all those colors and it's got the same gradient it just obviously doesn't have the the rays which I don't think I could create myself I'm sure there's a way but I don't know so we'll just go with this I'm thinking I may have to redo the washi tape anyway because I'm thinking this may not quite be wide enough so if it's not I'm gonna redo um, the blue on this side because I'm really happy with the the yellow and the black but that kind of got a bit dirty along the way, so we might just fix that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick, oh no, I'm not, I've gotta do the grass first. Must do the grass. So I'm only gonna use two shades for the grass, which is just gonna be mowed lawn and a little bit of Lucky Clover. I probably won't use the Lucky Clover if I'm being deadly honest. I have a feeling it's gonna get lost. I'm just sticking those down just to hold them still. They probably won't stay there, because that tape's been used a bit now. So I'm just going to come in with the mowed lawn and a little bit of tape here just to protect this. I don't need to blend it into the yellow because obviously we're going to lose it anyway, but I just want to go to sort of about here-ish and that should be enough. Oops. Should be enough. I actually think the mowed lawn's too light. I might have to go a darker green. Actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do evergreen bow because it's a little bit darker. It looks funny when you look at evergreen bow from the, the colour, like from the front, it just looks a bit not quite the right kind of green. But when it gets put down on paper, it looks really nice. Definitely looks like grass to me. bit of mowed lawn just on the top it, it's not going to make a big difference but it's just going to give the green just a little bit more of a pop because it's just missing a pop at the moment um, I also have given up on the washi and we'll just redo it the 
way that that's, it looks like a sky. Damn, it looks colourful. If you didn't know it was a footy week, you'd never know it was a footy week. It'll look different when you put the gabber in, I hope. All right, so from here, I'm gonna stick, for this side, I'm gonna stick in the, stick in the gabber. I'm just gonna put that in on with some glue tape. Use this as my protective thing. I don't know how far to go to, so I'm just, always go too far and then you can always cut off the excess. So I'm just lining that up against the washi and then we'll just cut off the excess. And I'm just gonna pull this one in. Just sort of see if I can use the same piece. I might be able to. Yeah, I can, and it fits. I don't need to do the washi again, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna do the, the blue, because I went over the top. So I just need to finish cutting out around the building. I could obviously get really close here and do a proper kind of fussy cut, but I don't think it's worth it. There we go. So I'm going to do the washi first and then come back and stick that down. so stupid to be so excited about but I, I actually really like this the only thing I'm gonna pick at myself and say I don't like I wish that I'd come a little bit further down with the orange but like smallest thing to nitpick so I'm not gonna worry about it all right but now I am gonna have to put back all my stickers so I've got in some days of the week one these ones are from lime and mortar no it's not going to completely hide here what I've got but I think it'll be okay. I don't think they stick out too much anyway. The ones I'm worried about, I'm not gonna put anything to cover up the bits and pieces because obviously that's already covered. But I am gonna put, I don't know where I'm gonna put Thursday. I'm still kind of working that out. But I am gonna leave them white. I think I like the idea of them sticking out a bit. I've got two different sets of numbers. These ones are from Barney and Moon. These ones are from Studio Kylie. 25. I like, I think I like this one best. This is the 25th, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is my favourite thing about ink. The next next time I'm gonna flip next week when I do this, I'm gonna flip it over and you're never gonna notice that I use that much ink on the other side. It's so good. It's so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick all of these down and I'll be right back. logos because I, I can't not have the logos on here that would just be silly um I think the original ones I cut were a little bit big <laughs> printed were a little bit big so I think I'll do these ones so I'm just going to cut these out just fussy cut them I don't know yet how I'm going to make this fit in but it's half of the reason that I left these white because I know that these are going to look weird so I'm just going to fussy cut them with just a little bit of a white border around the outside and just try and be as careful as I can.
pause because Dan Andrews was announcing things. So I've just paused for a bit. Sorry, guys. It's going to mean this is a little bit later, but it was worth it. So I've just cut these out and I'm just going to stick them down kind of haphazardly just to look really cool. Uh, for anyone that's wondering, because I do get this question basically every grand final week or every time I use something slightly imagey like this, where do I get them from? I just get them from Google. There's no, um, there's no restrictions on using logos for personal use as long as this is for personal use, which I think it's personal. Um, but just be aware of that. Like obviously if you're gonna sell stuff, I don't know why you'd sell stuff like this, but um, don't, you can't use logos, but I just download them off Google. So it's not, it's not a big complicated deal. And all of these images were just straight off Google. So I think the last sticker thing I want to add on is just adding in the Octobers at the top and that's just really to cover up the mess. Thankfully this, this font matches the Lime and Mortar one pretty well. So it all kind of works together. I'm not going to put the lights in. I was sort of, if you go back to that image that I showed you, I don't know if I've got it left, I think I've cut it apart. Oh, there we go. Um, like the lights were here. They would fit. I'm just, I'm thinking now. I don't really need a to-do list this week. I do need to punch holes. I just realised that part. Um, I think I'm okay without a to-do list this week. You can always just stick it. <laughs> Sorry. You can always just have like an, an insert page that I've sort of punched in. I think that'll work this week. I just, I don't want to go too crazy with adding flips and flaps and stuff to try and make it all fit. I, I really like this and I didn't think I would. You guys heard me at the start. I was really, what's the word I'm looking for? Apprehensive. I kind of thought that this wasn't going to work. I do wish I had lights. I do wish I had footy players on the ground. And if I could have got the scale right, I probably could have printed them out and cut them out and had like Paddy Dangerfield standing here and Dustin Martin standing here. But I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it like that. It's a different grand final, so therefore it's a different grand final decoration. Plus it's really hard to do black ink. That was more what I was thinking. Other, under normal circumstances, I would have just done this blue and white and this black and yellow. But it's really hard to put black ink on this on these pages and then be able to use them. So I'm, I'm happy with this. I think it's worked out really pretty. It's definitely something different. And it's definitely not my normal grand final week, but I think it looks really cool. So please let me know what you think. Leave it down below. Or, of course, you can find me on any of my socials. Thank you for being patient while there were breaks and noises and that this is probably up a little bit late. Ryan's seriously going to edit this right now and it's going to go up as soon as it's ready. Uh, so thank you very much for your patience today. Don't forget that my live is on this Wednesday. So if you want to hear what I think about the grand final, come talk to me then because I'm not making any decisions about the grand final until I sort of start seeing some teams. Uh, so... You can come and chat with me on Wednesday night and I'll we can have a full-on grand final discussion. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic grand final week. Whether you celebrate it or not, go the Storm in the NRL. I don't know who they're playing, but go the Storm. And I hope now we'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye. Hi again. Sorry, I forgot to put my stickers back in. I completely forgot about putting my stickers back in. Um, I'm not going to put any color on top of them I'm just going to stick them back in here uh, but I just I knew someone would say hey wait a minute Ash you forgot to put your stickers back in um, especially because I'll take photos and they'll be back in so I just wanted you to see me put them back in again whoops just put that one there. there we go stickers back in see you later bye